What up? Jeff here with all my Bitcoin renegades. And I had a great day today because, um, well, one, I just got to talk to my daughter and that was awesome. And another, we had the showcase for the 500 subscriber $30 banner competition. And um, we are so close to that. We are 14 subscribers, I think, or 13 subscribers away from 500. So hopefully within the next 23 and a half hours, um, we can get 13 subscribers. So if you're not already, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, um, let this video get to a lot of people's eyes. Let's at least see this video, see 100 views. Um, we can get that easily. Um, 20 likes, you know, especially because tomorrow night is the big banner. We need to promote the videos right now, guys. So all of my loyal subscribers that are watching now, um, you guys know what to do. Let's get this out there. Let's get these videos up. Um, all the videos today. Don't worry about any other videos. If you can like, if you can comment on all of today's videos leading up um, to the competition, I'm even going to advertise the contest so we can get more people over here, guys. We need a lot of uh, hands on deck right now. We need everybody commenting. We need everybody liking, um, sharing, everything that you can do to get the videos to do well leading up to the banner competition so we can get enough votes and so that you guys can win the money for your hard work, right? So um, we're, we're doing this together. Um, I already have all the Bitcoin set aside or um, will be set aside for the winners. So all we need to do now is have a successful live stream tomorrow night, Friday night, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I know I put nine o'clock on the last video. That's wrong. It's actually going to be eight o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I am going to change that. But look at this, guys. We went all the way down to 43,800. And right back up to 45,200. I should have waited for the big dip before I purchased. I purchased at 452. Well, that probably shouldn't have bought at the top, but I really thought we were going to 50 right now. But that's okay. Um I know it was a good purchase. It'll, you know, be a good purchase in the long run, so I'm not worried about that. What I am worried about is closing above the 200-day moving average. That is what, and it's right at 45,176, and we're sitting about $109 above it right now. So what we really need to do is close above this, not only today, but Sunday is going to be the crucial day. If we can close above it on Sunday, and then we don't have a crash in the market on Monday, then we should be good. And we should take off to 50000 now that we had a retest. I don't think we need to go back down to the $38,000 level again. I think we've already done that. I think if anything, we'll go down to forty two five and then blast all the way up to fifty if we do have a retracement. That's always a possibility that we slam back down towards um, lower levels. Even 40000 could be a possibility. But I don't see us going to thirty eight again. Um, I do see us heading to fifty. Now, when is this happening? Well, if you look, these are on a collision course right here. They're going to meet again. What are these? This is the 50-day moving average right here. And this is the 200-day moving average right here. Now, if you look, they're on a collision course with each other. And it might even be sooner than we think. So, yeah, they're on a path. And so that means it's a golden cross. And that could be a wonderful blast off time. Holy moly, what is going on? Do the hokey bokey and, you know, turn yourself about. Bitcoin just blast it off and, you know, silenced all the doubt. That's what happens. Look at this. It's a nice up. And this is just like what happened over here, guys. We have little pumps, dump pump. We might even have a little dump and then watch. Blast off time. Blast off time. Blast off all the way up to the moon, baby. And this one is, look, all the way up to 50. From like 40. Look, it goes all the way from like 40 something all the way up to 50. 
And then, yeah, it does drop back all the way down pretty far here. Um, we went all the way down to like 46 before blasting off again. And that's what Bitcoin is notorious for doing. Blast off, retest, blast off, retest, blast off. And all it is, is all it's doing is shaking out all the weekend. So let's look at um, the chart for some patterns. I don't really like this head and shoulders pattern that's forming right here. Um, if we get uh, lower here, and, and the other shoulder, then we could see lower prices here. And we could really see um, touching way back down here to 30000 again. So we don't want that to happen. I doubt that's going to happen. I actually see us um, going up even higher from here. Now, it is really fast that this is happening, guys. It actually was slower climbing up this way. And we had a couple big, steep, you know, hayas. But we had a lot of retests, big retests, and correction, healthy, healthy blast off. Correction, healthy, healthy blast off. Correction, healthy, healthy blast off. And it's the same thing. And then we just got oversold, overheated. Elon Musk tweeted, like, we could have recovered probably back up to 60 right here. I think Elon Musk did this intentionally. That all of his buddies could buy back in. Look how far we went down. We would have went sideways here. This would not have been a big dump. Even if we did dump, this would have been the bottom right here. Right? This was our support that we had right here. But for some reason, it just went right through it. Like butter. Because of the Elon Musk tweet. Right? So, we probably would have had support here. And then we might have went sideways even for a little while at 50. And then we would have went up to a new all-time high. That's what would have happened if the Elon Musk tweet didn't happen. He wanted his buddies to be able to get in at these levels again. This is why the three three peaks in a domed house is almost exactly what is going to happen and what's going to play out. We had the basement. Now we have the first floor. And then we're going to go up to the domed house. And that is much higher up here. That is actually higher than these. So you're looking at $100,000 levels. And especially if this golden cross happens, <laughs> everything that I've been saying about $112,000 Bitcoin looks like that it, it might be happening. It, it looks like in the charts it wants to play out. We don't have the volume yet. We don't have the uh, pattern played out fully, uh, but we do have a partial pattern already. Like probably about a half of the pattern is played out so far. So I'm liking it. I like the way it looks, guys. I would actually think that we're we're on the first floor right now. Um, so it can go up a little bit. It doesn't have to just go sideways for the first floor. It can go up a little bit, like stairs. And then once we get up, yeah, then it then it's gonna go sideways and then blast way up, way up. But then it's going to go sideways and dump after, you know, so we could go up to 100,000. We might go to like 90,000, wake up to 112,000 and right back down. That's what I think might happen once we reach that level. I don't think we're going to go to 112,000 and just sit there. I think that we're going to wick up to it. And I think it's going to be a brief one. It's going to be one of the biggest wicks that we've ever had. Because it's going to wick down like $20,000 or something. Maybe maybe $10,000. It's going to be a big wick though. And yeah, let's go into the four hour chart and see. Okay. Okay. We got a double bottom right here, guys. That's why when this happened, we we blasted off once we got right down here. Because look at the support that we have right here. Um, but plus, it was a double bottom. Look at this ascending triangle that broke out to the downside and then back up. So we might even, uh, what it did last time, remember? Remember down here? Where is it? Where, okay, let me see if I can find it. Ascending triangle broke to the downside. And then blasted right back up afterwards. So let's see. I think it was right here. It was. 
So this was an ascending triangle. It broke to the downside and then like immediately back up. And I think maybe this was one too. Yeah, this is it right here. Sorry, it wasn't this one because that's a couple, you know, four hour candles away. I think, it, yeah, it was this one. This was the ascending triangle I called and it broke to the downside and then immediately skyrocketed way up. So that's what's happening again here. This ascending triangle broke to the downside and then skyrocketed back up. So it's been happening a lot. So if the ascending triangle doesn't break to the upside, which is a continuation pattern, then it basically breaks down just a little bit before it blasts off. So um, let's see what we got, ya. Uh, let's go full screen. Let's go full screen. Wow, we lost light. We don't have as much light as we should. It's getting dark out. Uh, the lamp that I got was um, stolen out of the lobby. So hopefully um, we can get a new one coming in before too long. Because especially live stream tomorrow at 8 o'clock, it's going to be dark. So... And this new spot is really dark. Oh, my goodness. Um, I got to fix this. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Much better, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, we were starting to not be able to see. So, um, yeah, look at this. We have, man, that looks like a bull flag. No way. No way, no way, no way. Do we finally have a bull flag on Bitcoin? Do we finally have a bull flag on Bitcoin? Well, let's see here, sonny boy. That would be pretty cool if we did. Um, I don't know if you could consider this a bull flag, but it kind of looks like one. And then you would bring this all the way to the top of the flag here. And all the way to the bottom right here. This, oh my God, this would be huge. I think Bitcoin might be set for blast off, y'all. Because look at this. We're talking a 54 thousand dollar bitcoin if this breaks out to the upside if this is an actual bull flag <laughs> and the golden cross that's coming and all of the moving averages under us we are definitely not oversold and let's look at the one hour, uh the one day let's see how uh the rsi looks okay and we reset you know, we didn't reset big, but we're down to 66 now. We're not oversold. Oversold is anything over 70. So we just, you know, peaked down. Yeah, we're coming back up a little bit, but um, we can, you know, stay up here. Look how high these go. So when we really want to, we can blast off above all of this. So I think it's just a matter of time. Because look at all this. It didn't go up high. We're we're in for some new highs up here. I think it's going to look like this. And then not that. I think it's going to be even higher than that. I think it's going to keep on going. Let's look at the one hour chart now. Okay, okay. Hmm. Looks like we might have an ascending triangle. Look, we had a W form right here, double bottoms. And look, it blasted off. And now we're having a little bit of a uh, fall, you know, a little bit of a rinky dink. So that would be cool, all the way up to 54,000 bucks. Um,. What is this? Well, so we got the 50 day moving average right as resistance to us right now. 
that's what's happening with Bitcoin. We're we're um, running into the 50 day. Look at the 200 day and the 50 day. They're going to cross here, too. And they're going to cross pretty soon. But that doesn't mean anything on this chart. So um, you never know some of the, But it could because look right here when they met. Blast off. You see that? Whenever they meet, it's either blast off either then or soon after. See that? Then and soon after. Not then, soon after. Soon after, right then. So if we do it again, it's either going to be right then or soon after that it blasts off again. Right? Let's look if see if it does it again. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's not touching there. That's my line. Um, right here. Blast off. Bla yep, it does it every time. Every time they cross, except right here. Well, they didn't cross right there. They just touched. They didn't cross. It's only when they cross each other. Not when they kiss. That's just a kiss right there. That's why it didn't go up. And that's just a kiss as well. They didn't cross each other. They just, they overlapped right there, but they didn't cross. That's a cross. And see how it went up afterwards? Not a lot, but it did. It's still a, a, you know, pattern. Look, crossed, went up. It's either right after or soon after. Crossed, went up. I mean, look, it's every time. Every single time they cross. Except this one. This one, oh, but it did go up right after. Just not a lot. So, yeah, it does happen every time. Every time these two collide, it goes up, no matter what I've seen so far. Yep. So as far back as I can see, this is true. Yep. There every time right here. Yep. I mean, it's not a big one, but yep. And right there. So, yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> I mean, every single place. Yep. Okay, well, I'm not going to keep doing that, but look, that proves it. Almost every single time, these two, the 50-day and the 200-day cross on the one hour, they blast off soon after. So we're about ready to cross again right here, and it's going to happen within the next couple of days. And that's the same way it is on the daily, except it's going to be maybe different time frames. Let's look at the four-hour chart and see if they're going to come collide. Okay, not on this one. They're far off on the four hour. Let's look at the daily. Yeah, so they're a lot further off, but I think eventually they're going to meet because this one's going straight up. So they're going to eventually meet. And especially if this one, oh, if this one goes up though, ooh. So, yeah, the daily, but on the one hour. We are at 45,223. So, Bitcoin's looking good. I want to go to Dogecoin um, because I, I, Dogecoin's doing really well. And I just want to look at it real quick. And we'll go to Ethereum too, but I want to check out Doge. Oh, it doesn't have Doge on here. Never mind. Let's look at Ethereum and then... Um, we'll go look at Doge somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, so Ethereum isn't doing as bad as Bitcoin did. It went, it went down. Ethereum didn't really go down. So, yeah, we're holding support right here. Ethereum's still looking strong. Um, we definitely still have an ascending wedge, um, but I think we might have an ascending triangle here now as well. So it looks like uh, theory wants to continue. We're definitely looking at a cross right here in the future. It's looking. Wait. Hold on. I think we might be crossing on here now. Yeah, they did cross. Okay, so blast off, guys, right here. So I didn't see this on the daily right here. You see this? They, they overlapped right here. We got a golden cross right here on the Ethereum chart. 
where they overlap right here. And that's why we've had blast off lately. And they're still overlap. They're basically moving exactly together now. Isn't that strange? That they not only cross, but they overlap. They cross and then they crisscross. So that's why it's going down again, I think, is because it crisscrossed. And if it crosses again, well, then it just might go up. I don't know. <laughs> that's kind of trippy. Um, but cool. Let's see if it's the same thing with Ethereum. Um, yeah. I mean, every time they cross, it goes up. So, um, I think bright plans for Ethereum. We have an ascending triangle um, forming here. Anytime you have this and then this like that, then you're good to go. See, ascending a triangle, and we are getting ready to break out now. So, if that does happen, we could be sitting pretty at about 30, 30, 33, 30, 33, 3300. But we're definitely oversold here in a minute. Um, we're basically just under oversold i mean we're within almost one point of being oversold so um i can't wait till exciting stuff happens because i really want to be happy with all this stuff that's happening um i just i've had an awesome day um i love it when things work out um yeah so I just want you guys to have a good day. Um, make sure we get these videos up to all time highs. Smash up the like button. Um, make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I will be doing updates on a lot of altcoins um, that could possibly bring a lot of profit to the channel in the future and a lot of profit to um, the Bitcoin Renegade YouTube channel, which means that it can help you learn how to trade, learn how to make the right trades at the right time, not financial advice for entertainment and common sense purposes only. Me. So, um, what I do want to go in and is look in the pup doge and show you guys um, my pup doge holdings or some of them. Um, I just got to unlock the wallet real quick. Cool. Um, yeah, so I've already gotten 102 million, which, but it's already been about half of the time. So I'm going to end up with about 200 million of uh, these, but I ended up losing 300 million in the transfer over. So basically, this was a waste of time for me. Um, but it wasn't because if I didn't do this, then I think that I would have still lost the 300 million. And so I'd still be at 1.5 billion. And now I'll actually be at 1.7 billion, hopefully at the end of this. And hopefully I can withdraw and claim at the same time. Because if you claim and then you withdraw, it'll charge you twice. So maybe if I just withdraw, hopefully, oh, I don't want to withdraw twice. Dang it. So I'll, I might just have to claim first and pay for that and then figure it out. I'm not 100% sure yet. So, um, yeah, Pup Doge went way, 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 way down. Look, I bought it at 1.5 Satoshis, which means I already told you yesterday, like one, uh, seven zeros and a one. Let's see if this went up at all or did it go back down? Oh, it went back up a little bit. Cool. So we're at least at, you know, um, eight zeros and a seven. So we're not totally blasted all pawn. Um, you know, guys, I could turn this white and that would make it a lot brighter. How do I do that? Hide user panel. Wait, hi. What does that mean? Ooh, I like that. Show user panel. Oh, no, I don't need that. Oh, cool. I can take that off of there. That's something good to know. Um, I want to see if I can turn the whole chart white. Chart by trading view. Hmm, that wasn't good. Nope, not what I was looking for. Okay, let's see what this is. 
right, I'm not exactly sure where the color is. I was trying to make it white so that it would be uh, brighter, but oh well. Um, so let's go over here, look at CoinDesk, and actually I wanna look at Decrypt. Let's look at some of the news that's going on. I'm not gonna go a lot into news, but I did wanna show you guys a couple things. Argentina is open to adopting Bitcoin, says President Alberto Fernandez. The president of Argentina, Alberto Fernandez, has suggested that he is amenable uh, to the idea of crypto playing a larger role in Ar Argentina's economy, despite his own skepticism. So they're thinking about it. Pudgy Penguin's NFT craze takes flight as daily volume tops 11 million in Ethereum. Look at the Pudgy Penguins! <laughs> I like penguins. Too. Those are cool. Another Ethereum ETF is now before the SEC. That's pretty cool. Um, this is the weird news right here, guys. When it, where is a stable coin backed by a dollar? Not on Coinbase anymore. Well, Coinbase, the San Francisco-based cryptocurrency exchange that partnered on the USDC stablecoin alongside fintech firm Circle, is no longer promising that USDC is fully backed by the dollar. Say what? How is that possible? Like Tether, USDC is partially backed by commercial paper, a type of debt. Hmm. USDC is a stable coin issued by Circle. Coinbase had said USDC was backed by dollars in a bank account. Coinbase's website now says one USDC is not necessarily backed by the one US dollar. How is that possible? That's not cool. I'm, I'm glad I didn't buy into USDC. Okay. Yeah, it's saying that basically a quarter of the certificates um, of the deposit are U.S. Treasury securities. Why did they lie about it? I don't like that. Don't tell us one thing, and then when you get caught, tell us another. I mean, at least tell us. Wow. I mean, now that they're established, it doesn't matter anymore, right? The reversal is similar to what happened with stablecoin competitor Tether. For years, that company trumpeted its one to one dollar backing of USDT coins until it changed its tune. First by changing web copy and then by showing statements demonstrating a significant portion of reserves were held in other assets. And most recent assurance report shows nearly half of its holdings are commercial paper. Debt, other people's debt. <laughs> so it's not even money. Ridiculous. Yeah, so there you go. Problems with stable coins. I wanted to look at one more thing before we go. Um, remember, guys, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe if you're not. Um, hit the notification bell so you can be here for all the live streams and up-to-date reports. Um, I did want to talk about Reddit. Now valued at $10 billion amid Ethereum token rewards push. So I guess they made a big fundraising play earlier this year, announcing a $250 million investment um, in February. And the popular online discussion community isn't done pulling in cash. So they are making lots of money. The Crypto Driven Engagement Initiative. 
Reddit is now valued at 10 billion thanks to the new 410 million series at funding round, which could balloon further to 700 million. The discussion board platform is working on expanding its Ethereum based token rewards program for its community members. So another big fundraising uh, to make it worth billions of dollars. Um, hold Reddit coin if you're not, not financial advice, common sense. <laughs> All right, guys, that being said, be here tomorrow night. 9 p or 8 p.m pacific standard time we're gonna have a live stream we're gonna have the vote we're gonna have all the people that create the banners we're gonna talk we're gonna look about bitcoin hopefully uh you know thirty five hundred dollar ethereum hopefully a fifty thousand dollar bitcoin by tomorrow a two dollar cardano possibly who knows um we are just waiting we're hoping we're watching we're doing everything we got to do to get to where we're going all right guys that being said you know what time it is goodbye and good Bitcoin. Bang!